Consider the problem of the matrix matrix multiply operation C gets C plus A times B. Suppose you run this operation on an ideal cache machine. And let's make our usual simplifying assumptions. Namely that the matrix is square and stuff conveniently divides other stuff. Now if you want to minimize data transfers in a memory hierarchy, one way is to reorganize the computation to multiply B by B subblocks. Again for simplicity, let's assume that B divides N. The corresponding pseudocode algorithm would look something like this. Now to make this algorithm cache efficient, you would just choose B so that these three B by B blocks fit in cache. In other words, B ought to be proportional to the square root of Z. Now there's a subtle detail here about what fitting in cache means. To see it, suppose the matrices are stored in column major order. That means the elements of each column are laid out consecutively in linear memory addresses with one column following the other. This layout is common in linear algebra packages, though note that languages like C and C++ assume by default that a two-dimensional array uses row major order. A little more formally, the ij element maps to a linear address. The offset is i plus j times s, where s is the stride or sometimes leading dimension. It has to be at least n. Now let's take any b by b block of one of the matrices. Let's say we just want to fit this block into cache. Then it has to be the case that z is at least l squared. In the literature, this is sometimes written as the following lower bound. This condition is called the tall cache assumption. The tall cache assumption says the cache should be taller in terms of the number of lines than it is wide in terms of the number of words per line. Let's take a simple example. Suppose our matrix block is exactly the size of the cache Z, which holds 16 words. Now suppose the line size is four words. In this case, the tall cache assumption holds. Assuming the matrix is stored in column major layout, columns would map to complete lines. Now suppose instead that L is equal to eight words. In this case, the tall cache assumption does not hold. Columns no longer fill full lines. Thus, the four by four block doesn't actually fit in cache even though the cache has enough capacity. Now the tall cache assumption is actually a really interesting one. It's basically an artifact of how we chose to lay out the matrices. Put differently, in a memory hierarchy model, an efficient algorithm might be linked to your choice of data structure and how you choose to lay out the data. We'll see more examples of this soon enough.